Hi Libra, I missed you guys. I hope that you're all doing well. I send you so much love and light. So if you notice that I haven't posted in a couple weeks and even like a couple weeks before that, it's because as I mentioned on the last video, you guys, I recently moved and it's been crazy, but now everything's kind of fallen into place. I hope you guys like my new background and that's where I've been, you know, don't, don't worry. It's just cause I was moving and everything was crazy. But I'm so excited to be here with you guys because this is your March love reading. Well, one of them anyway. And we're going to take a look and see what's coming in for your love life this month. Experiences you could have, maybe advice from spirit, energy coming your way. Let's see what comes through for you guys. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for clicking on the video. My name is Lynn. This is Passion Heart Tarot. Let's get into it, you guys. Let's see into your love life in March. Okay, before I begin, I just want to take a moment to invite the white light of the Holy Spirit. Oh, these are the energies coming through. I can see the past around you currently. Like, so the past is coming towards you. But this is not someone from the past that you despise. You know what I mean? Or like someone that you would not want to reconnect with. This is the past and it makes you feel full of joy and even the overall energy is the five of pentacles so it seems to me like you have potential to to connect with someone maybe that you've known for a long time because it almost feels like you have a long history with this person maybe a few years maybe someone that you've known since uh, school or when you were younger it's someone that you have a history with and they're around you romantically, but it feels like the two of you are not together. That's the thing. But when this person comes back into the picture this month, I see you feeling full of joy. I see you doing a lot more laughing and a lot more relaxing than you've done lately. This person comes in and just relieves you of so much pressure and tension because the overall feeling and the overall experience that they bring to you is just like welcoming you with with open arms and so i know that you're going to be spending a lot of time with this person a lot of quality time with this person libra that that you can open up and share things that you've been needing to share with someone this person looks like a confidant to me but this is romantic energy around you. So it almost feels like you have someone that you're trying to figure things out with. So either that's currently going on around you now, or it's spirit letting you know that I see someone from your past around you, but this is a good past. This is not like a horrible ex or something like that. This is a beautiful feeling that they bring to you because the five of pentacles, but this is why I'm telling you that it feels like the two of you are trying to figure things out. Like which direction do we go in? What is this gonna be? But at the same time, it doesn't feel like there's pressure around figuring things out. If you feel, cause, cause what, this, what this looks like to me, so since it's general, these could be your feelings or, or how you impact this person so deeply, but I'll just describe it to you. I just felt like I was so alone and I just felt like no one really was getting me or like I didn't really have friends or I just felt like, I don't know, lonely and misunderstood and, and just like over it. Maybe like my life has been feeling kind of drab. Um, but since you came into the picture, I just feel like I'm, 
I can be myself and I'm understood and I'm having so much fun. I feel like I'm a kid again. I feel like I, I'm embraced and it, it just makes me feel like this feels so right. And I found, I feel like I found where I belong, but at the same time, we're still trying to figure things out. So it's a very powerful experience and emotion that I can see around you this month. So if you feel like those are not your own feelings, then that's just spirit letting you know how this person is looking at things, how they feel about you and how impacted they are. I'm um, just like, what a powerful role you play in their life. And I don't want to paint this person as though they come across as desperate. It's not, it's not that this person is desperate. But there is something about them that just feels like they're in search of and they haven't found it until you're back in the picture. Or maybe it's reverse and you relate to that energy. But the two of you are having nothing but good times together this month. There's so much laughter. There's so much silliness. There's so much like flirtatious, fun, childlike energy even. So if you, if, you know, if you relate to the, to what I can see of those emotions of maybe feeling alone, I think you're going to feel like you have a partner in crime. You have someone that you can just hang out with and have so much fun with. The Ace of Pentacles is coming through in reverse. And I don't mean that as a disappointment, but it's spirit letting you know that it feels like for the time being, you guys are just enjoying what you have now and not putting any pressure on what this is supposed to be or what it's going to be or what the label of it should be. Because this looks like it's unlabeled and that's okay. Like it, it's unlabeled and, and that's just fine with us. So this is beautiful because there's such a relief of pressure. That's what I can see, Libra. So you have someone around you that you are okay with not fully knowing what it is. And that doesn't make you feel bad. It doesn't make you feel used. You know, it doesn't make you, it's okay with you. So I know that you have someone around you this month that you completely trust. And it looks like things are going really well between you and this person. So I just wonder who who is this that you're thinking of as you watch this reading? Who from the past do you want to reconnect with? Or if you just so happen to reconnect with them, who from the past would make you feel so full of joy and make you feel so understood? Because I know the two of you have a, a beautiful, you have a beautiful connection. You really do. So I can see where it could be someone from school or it could just be someone that maybe you've known for a few years. But there's no hard feelings between the two of you. Currently, there's not. And I will say this, if there was and maybe things happen, you happen to go your separate ways because because of an argument, the two of you will resolve that argument. I think you're going to be back in each other's arms again, back in each other's lives again, back in each other's hearts again, and feeling very, very happy. So it's even like um, finally talking about that last argument that the two of you had that drove you apart, talking about it, resolving it, because there's no feistiness here. There's no argumentative energy. There's no anger that's coming in between the two of you. And even though we don't know exactly what we have right now, what we are, it's still everything is going amazing. And I can just see where the people that are important in your lives, yours and this person's, everyone knows that you've reconnected. Everyone knows that you're talking again. Everyone knows that you're seeing each other again. That's a beautiful energy. I want to look at the Six of Cups. So this is, this is the exact message from Spirit. This is totally someone that you have a history with that you think very fondly of. Currently, you think fondly of this person. Coming back into the picture, pursuing you romantically, like it sparks flying between the two of you. 
And maybe even for some of you, this is just spirit letting you know that you're going to have things go like cross the line or be taken to the next step because you have a, a history with this person that's a fond history. Like I, I know I've said that a million times, but I wonder who this is to you because is this a person that was always just a friend? For some of you, there's a romantic history there. But for others of you, maybe it's just like someone that you didn't look at in a romantic light before. And this month, you're looking at them in that romantic light. Maybe it's someone who is helping you through a difficult time right now, Libra. Don't think I'm predicting that you're going to go through a difficult time. You know what I mean? I don't want you to feel worried about that energy coming through, but... Um, maybe something's just catching up with you. You know, if you can relate to that energy of, of searching and maybe feeling lost and maybe feeling like you need a friend, you need someone to talk to, you need to feel like someone understands you. Maybe that's what that energy is. Um, but I can see where something is blossoming with you and this person. But the energy remains the same. Like, we don't have a title on it. We don't know exactly what this is. But something is blossoming between us. And it really does stem from feeling so comforted. Feeling so taken in out of the cold, so to speak. Feeling so welcome. Feeling so embraced. Feeling so acknowledged. And for others of you, this is spirit letting you know maybe how you impact someone so deeply and you might just end up having someone fall in love with you because that's really what this leads to. I mean, the Knight of Cups leads to falling in love. You have someone that falls in love with you because of the kindness that you show them. It's a month where I feel feelings progress very easily. And I mean that in a beautiful way. I mean that in a positive way. It's it's a month where you guys could really turn around and find yourselves falling in love with someone. Resolving issues from the past. Resolving an argument from the past. So I feel like what I have to say now is if anyone here is wondering, well, if I reach out, you know, we had a fight. Maybe it was however long ago. If I reach out, what's going to happen? They're going to they're going to embrace you with open arms. If you call them, they're going to be so happy to hear from you. If you text them, they're going to respond or if you happen to run into them, it's your sign that that's your opportunity to get things back on track with this person. So act like, you know, this is this is your, you know, if, do what you want. But what Spirit is, is saying is, you know, if you happen to run into them, seize that opportunity to uh, get their phone number if you don't have it, to exchange phone numbers, to make it so the two of you have a way to contact each other from that point on. I see the rekindling happening. I see the reunion happening. I see, um, you know, this person that you have a history with. I see where things are going to start to blossom. The romance starts to blossom. So I'm telling you this because spirit is letting you know that there's going to be a way for it to happen. A way is going to be made for you and them, Libra. Okay, I want to look at that Knight of Swords. And I just feel like uh, what someone needs to know is if they stick their neck out there, don't worry, your head's not going to get chopped off. If you put yourself out there, you're going to be embraced. That's just what it is. Leo's energy has come through. Anyone thinking of a Leo could be Leo's watching this for Libra or moon or rising energies. But do you see the fool coming through? Can you guys see those cards? I can't tell. Sorry if you can't. It's just the sun is so bright. Uh, but it's the Fool card, the Knight of Swords in reverse. 
lets you know that a dispute or an argument, things are going to be figured out, resolved. We leave that in the past and we start a new chapter of whatever this is that we're doing, whatever we want to call it. We, we can call it whatever we want or not call it anything at all. But the point is, is we are moving forward and we're trusting, we're opening up, we're taking a chance. For those of you in a connection already say you're with your person like this is your person you're not going to entertain anyone from the past um this is beautiful for you as well because when you see such happy energy about the past around you i wonder if any of you are, are celebrating a significant anniversary that'll bring the two of you closer you know kind of bringing up those old feelings from the past the spontaneity from the past could is going to return uh, I certainly see the romance being rekindled between the two of you, even if you are in um, a marriage or a long term committed relationship. Something's going to happen with that person that makes you either feel or you show this to them that you understand them, that you acknowledge them or, or like you feel that way, Libra. You're going to if you haven't been sleeping in the same bed or you've just been like in different rooms separating yourself from this person things are going to really turn around for the two of you something's going to happen where and it feels like it's because of a memory from the past or a significant anniversary from the past or even someone doing something that they did for the other one, maybe when they first got together, a beautiful reminder, a romantic gesture. And that is really what rekindles that flame. So even if you are in a commitment, long term relationship or whatever a relationship now, I can see you guys resolving any anger, disputes, getting back to a really happy place, things looking so successful. And like willing to trust and open up my heart again. And even though the Ace of Pentacles is in reverse. I feel like that's just spirit letting you know that it may not go traditionally the way your sister does it or the way that your mom has done things or, or whoever you could be comparing yourself to as far as like traditions and the way it should be. You and your person are going to do things your own way and figure it out your own way and, and have success in your connection. So no matter how you look at your love life, Libra, it's in such a beautiful place of, of feeling. I don't know how else to describe it. Like I was maybe lonely or looking and searching feeling alone, feeling misunderstood, feeling maybe even abandoned or just forgotten about. And, and that turned around for me so much that I feel I'm in a place where I, I'm right where I need to be. So there's so much feeling of joy and feeling so peaceful and content. So I wonder if any of you here have been waiting uh, to resolve an issue. Now, I look at this as a love reading, romantic love, but I wonder if this is spirit letting anyone know that they're going to make peace with someone that's very important to them and move forward in that connection, whether it's a family member or a friend. That could be your sign from spirit as well. But no matter how you slice it, Libra, I see you guys being uh, successful, joyful, peaceful this month. And figuring things out on your own terms without any pressure. You're not adding any pressure and no one's putting pressure on you. It just, this is, this is a great reading for you guys because it's either letting you know uh, that things are really going to turn around or it's spirit letting you know that you have romance coming your way. Someone's going to approach you, someone that you want to take a chance on and open up your heart to. And it's just enjoying the time that you have with this person, being very much in the moment with them. So much to the point that you don't care whatever you call it. Whatever you call it, it just feels amazing. So I see you guys figuring things out and I see romance totally blossoming 
for you a lot of different circumstances with who this person is. But just know the bottom line about that person is you have a history with them. So it is already someone that you know. And it's someone that uh, if they came into the picture, maybe any any kind of anger that you feel really would melt away the moment you saw them or heard from them. It's someone that you will choose to embrace when they come in. Okay, Libra, I love you so much. That's what I can see going on in March. Oh my God, I cannot believe it's already March. This is insane. I'm so happy that I got to be here with you guys today. I hope that you enjoyed the reading. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment or subscribe to my channel if you are new and haven't already subscribed. Oh, and I have to mention my Patreon because that's like my second channel. Um, I'll link it below. My Patreon is where I post exclusive readings that you won't find on YouTube, only over there for my members. It's a membership. If you guys want to support that, that would be amazing. I love you so much, Libra. Thank you for everything. And I'll see you in the next reading.